I think people just love saying that. I'm not working for the man. You can't work for the man. You know, I'm busting my butt trying to work for me. Well, he does cut our checks, so I won't say I hate the man, but I will say that if I'm going to put my blood, sweat, and tears into somebody's company, yeah, I'd much rather be my company. All right, so why are we here? Well, why am I here? Why do I even exist in the world? These are questions that go through my mind all the time, and basically, I just want to find my value in this world and I thought I would record it and talk about it and try to help other people understand what's their purpose so, in life. How could I mix my passion of hair with also my passion around social justice and social change and you know those kind of things. So I got to thinking, and I'm like, I've always wanted to own a salon. Well, how can I get a salon to, like, bring about change? That sounds really, really, really crazy, doesn't it? Um, but I started thinking, and I wanted the salon to be multicultural because I'm thinking, you know what? We need some kind of regular, everyday place that people go, um but where it can be more inclusive and multicultural so that if I'm getting my hair done next to a white woman and she's getting her hair done next to a Hispanic man, maybe we'll overhear each other's conversations with our stylists and then get some kind of better understanding about how we think, how we feel, you know, um, get tips on how to become a businessman or woman or what it's like to have what it's like to be a single mom with three kids or you know it just to me would create an environment where we could share stories about ourselves and hear it out of the person's mouth rather than watching the news and seeing you know images that the news people want to project I would somehow create this crazy um opportunity to get people from different backgrounds together on one 28 foot trailer that makes us close not too close not uncomfortably close but puts us in like a proximity where we could actually engage with one another in ways that we've never done before sound crazy yeah a little bit but that's me so I've been pursuing that and now I am pursuing a startup called Chop Chop Mobile Salon and Barber and I just kind of want to share my story about how crazy this experience has give, been. you know, stylists, particularly women, um, an opportunity to you know, have their own truck potentially and, and go out there and service their own barbers. And the overhead is a lot lower than, you know, your brick and mortar, your average brick and mortar. Um, so it'll also give people an opportunity to manage and, and own their own salon or barbershop, you know. So I just think this could be like really fun, really cool. It's um, innovative. It's different. But uh, yeah, so... My goal here, guys, is just to give you insight into the process of becoming an entrepreneur. Or even if you don't aspire to be an entrepreneur, it's giving you the opportunity to see inside of my journey how to create something or how to infuse your passion with your purpose. 